Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Sable. In the last episode, we, uh, well, we climbed some interesting things and worked our way into this area that we don't really know too much about. But today, I think we're going to focus on looking at getting the cartography balloon. Or going over there, I haven't quite decided yet. Apparently, I've forgotten that I have a bike. Let me just call that. I swear, every time I start to record, the cat decides he wants to leave the room. It's a very annoying thing. Where, where is my bike? Oh, here we go again. Oh, I remember. I parked it back here, didn't I? I, I uh, sorry I missed a week. I've been uh, unwell. Hopefully, I can remember what the hell I was doing. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll work it out. We have a mission to follow, if nothing else, but I think the cartography balloon is a wonderful place to start. That is a very small person. Is that a child? I'm sure that's a child. Very small indeed. The Mystic Mask Hut. My bike is not where I thought it was going to be. You know what? Let's just cheat. Um, just travel here, yeah. and it should spawn me next to my bike. That's the that's the uh, that's the cheat, isn't it? Where is it? There you are. Silly thing. Right. So I want to go to the cartography balloon, which is going to require some climbing, I imagine, because I want to uncover this area on the map. It should make it easier for me to spot landmarks and things. Ooh. I wonder if there'll be a climbing challenge in this area or anything like that. I know I think we're getting close to getting the beetle mask. I believe we picked up another beetle quest. Or something. Did we pick up another beetle quest? No, we picked up another mechanist quest, didn't we? What is that? There is something on that pillar. Hang on. Curiosity and all that. Oh god. What is... What is up there? Oh god damn it. Hang on. Not sure I've got enough stamina to climb up this. But I'll be damned if I'm gonna try. Guess maybe the key is climbing that one and then jumping, gliding over. Oh. Okay. Um. Well, I don't like this place. <laughs> is this the entrance to, like, I don't know, the Forgotten Woods or something? I don't think we've got enough stamina to climb up here, to tell you the truth. No. Bugger. What's that bloody noise? Terrifying noise. Let's stay in the sunlight. I like the sunshine. It's wonderfully nice and calming, you know? Rather than a dingy, fog-ridden forest. Right. This should be easier to climb, because it kind of looks like it was intended to be climbed. And maybe from there we can make the jump over. Who knows? Oops, I keep pressing all the wrong buttons. I take one week off of playing a game and I forget every single control that I possibly need to play it. It doesn't help. I've been playing a lot of the Switch recently because, of, you know, the new Pokemon came out. Uh, Legend of... Uh, I can never say the name, the name of that Pokemon right. I'm not going to say it, but you know what I mean. The Legend of A. Ah. Maybe if I started this climb with a little bit more energy, I'd have done it, but because I jumped at it... I buggered it up. Plan B. Maybe I take back my assessment of uh, this being easy to climb. Okay. Oh, thanks Xbox. Really needed that. Oh god. You know, this is backfiring. Let go. Stand here. There we go. Grab Sable. There we go. Maybe that'll be enough? I don't know. Mm, I don't think so. Something tells me, nope, this is not how we're supposed to do it. We're going to have to come up with another way. Or we'll have literally just enough. Nope. No, we're going to run out again. Okay, well. 
Ah, time to think outside of the box, huh? There's going to be like an obvious way to get up, I imagine. Like maybe using the trees. What's this? It dust? Hmm. Looks strange. A butterfly. Mine. Mine. Oh, wait, can I climb up on that? Oh my god, loads of chalk butterflies. I wonder at some point, I wonder if we're going to use these butterflies for something, or if they are literally just sail fodder. I do not know, but at least if we need them, we have them. I still need to go back and sell... Ah, here we go, this looks promising. Uh, I still need to go back and sell all the scrap that we've been picking up in all the wrecked ships. I might give me enough to get the scrapper's badge. I can't remember how many I have. I think I have two. It might be enough to get me the mask if I get three. Here we go. Oh my god, I thought I wasn't going to make it. Right. From here... Hey. You thought you could escape me because I pressed the wrong button, but no. You shall not escape me. Uh, jump over there, maybe? All I know is I need to get up. I assume we have to kind of spiral around. That's usually how this game does it. Yeah, this is looking promising. I'm up the flat surfaces, maybe? Oh my god, that did not go to plan. Let's hope we have enough stamina to climb up this. <laughs> Sweet. Perfect. Um, I say perfect, I'm not entirely sure how I'm getting up there. I guess I can climb up here. Slow and steady, let's not fall. Now the real question here is, do we climb up again here, or do I go round on the bottom? I'm so happy I get to... Oh, I just saw a bike thing in the background, hang on. I'm so happy we get to listen to the cartographer's music this whole time. That's going to make this puzzle solving so much more fun. Oh, cool. Damn it. Uh, was it over there? There it is. Put another marker there. Put a marker there, I should say, not another one. Because I want to try and work out what those bits are for. Those rings. I do love the cartography's music. Wait. What's over here? This looks interesting and not relevant in any way, shape or form. But I'm intrigued. What is this? It's like a tent. Oh, it's a chum. Worth every second. There is no way in hell we're finding all the chums. <laughs> Some of these are so dastardly hidden. Where's the tents? I want to see what's over here. There's a butterfly, but is there anything else? There's a bloody floating thing over there. Oh, that's going to be related to that, isn't it? Of course. I do, however, believe that climbing up this thing is the way to go, so... Back we go! I sure hope. Oh, oh man, it's making me, like, climb down to get loot. It knows my weakness. I need this. Oh. Uh. Let's climb up here again. Should have let my stamina recharge. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I think I'll be okay. Maybe here? I'm really intrigued as to what's in that. It looks like an observatory. You know, with like the opening roof. But I don't know. What I like about Sable, actually. One of my favourite things about it is you look at the landscape and you have absolutely no idea what to expect. Like, oh my god, I do not want to go that way. 
that spriggly little forest. The thing I don't like about Sable is when I think I should be able to climb something and the character decides that, uh, nope, not today. Like, can I just climb up here? It would make my life so much bloody easier. No, no, okay. Uh, I'm not really sure. Where I'm supposed to go from here, to be honest. I feel like climbing up this very easy to climb bit is the answer. Okay, hang on, let's try. Let's try climbing over here. There we go, we got it. A cartographer's balloon and the back end of a spaceship. I didn't see that coming. Let's go talk to the man and then we'll explore this spaceship. Hello, dear fellow. My presence surprises the cartographer, which in turn surprises me. Whoa, where'd you come from? You shouldn't sneak up on people like that. It's not worth explaining. I clearly came from below. Uh, can I buy a map? Here's what I have. I mean... I'll buy his badge as well. I don't know if I, <laughs> if I can upgrade the masks. Take care. All right, is there anything else to tell me? Glider. Now what can I find in this region? I ask what I can find in the region and they seem thrilled to be discussing this with me. The petrified forest is wonderful. If you venture inside, you might see some of the giant geodesic stones and knows what fun creatures you might find lurking nearby. Oh, that's not nice. Then marrow bone stations tucked safely beneath the bones of an ancient giant. They say that last bit with some added flair. I appreciate their theatricality. Oh god. Theatricality? That's a word. Oh, and if you've never seen the watch, well, let me just say there are few engineering feats quite as resonant. And finally, the Purista, the Great Worm. Most people will tell you it's just some ancient monument, sort of tribute to something. But I think it may have once been alive. Glider. Okay, thanks. We don't really need to know what regions are nearby because we came from them. The petrified woods scares me slightly. Ooh, loot. Amazing how no one's looted these. The whole time we've been here. Ah, chum! Hey, buddy. I can't remember how many of these we actually need to upgrade, but let's just go with it. Take what we can. Hello, butterfly. Get in my backpack. Right. Oh, we got the cartographer's balloon, which means we've unlocked this area. Oh my god. Big area, isn't it? Now, if I remember correctly, Eye to the Sky was the mission I was looking at, and that's down here in the in the watch. Oh, is that the... Is that that big place over there, or is that another place? Surely it's got to be that place over there, right? Yeah, it is. Oh. But first, let's go check out those rings. Which means, falling with style. Can we see any chums? There's a small chance there might be a chum on top of that there, because there's a wreck. Go check it out. Just in case. Normally you can kind of see them, but they do get sneaky and hide them under stuff sometimes. Or in this bush. Is this a chum bush? No, it is not a chum. It is in fact not a chum bush. But there is a butterfly, so not all is wasted. Okay, what I need is my... Oh, I can't whistle while I'm falling, apparently. I guess it kind of makes sense. My arms are flailing. Come on, Samu. I have, tw I have 50 chums. My god. I think I need 60 for the next upgrade. I'm not entirely sure. Right, from what I remember, we need to just drive through the rings. And there's three of them? Let's hope it doesn't get foggy. Otherwise things might get interesting. And I don't really like interesting. 
one. Two. There's the other one. There might be more than three. Oh yeah, there is. Oh my god. Okay, keep going. Keep going till we get them all. There it is. I wonder what the use for that mechanism was before they got buried under sand. And who built these things? Because if the colonists were on the ship and they terraformed the planet for us, who built all of this stuff? What is it? Was this the pre-existing race on the planet? Because even, I mean, and then the mask builders, yeah, because the mask builders are like a separate race. Or at least look different. I mean, we pulled a mask out of its face. Did you guys? Yeah. Aim didn't like that then. I think this is the second one of these I found. Yeah. I'll take it. Right then. Do we carry on with the mission? Let's go do the eye to a sk an eye to the sky. That kind of confirms that it might in fact be an observatory. It makes sense. I mean, we're pretty close. And it's night time, so maybe we can use the scope. Scope? That's not the right word. What do you call those things? Telescope. Close. <laughs> That's scope in it, at least. If you couldn't tell, my brain is still addled. <laughs> no, I, I like I like them to say, but it's a very chill game. It makes me... Uh... It's the music. I love the music in this game so much. Ooh. Isn't this exciting? I wonder if people are going to be here or if it's going to be abandoned. It looks... abandoned. And the butterfly over here, excuse me. Wind chimes. I do love wind chimes. They're not really that big where I live, or at least with my family anyway. Um, no, they are, they are huge in some parts of the world. And I have known people have them, but I guess I think they tend to break, <laughs> not gonna lie. They tend to break and there's a lot of effort to try and fix them. Can I climb up the roof? Okay, no, I just... <laughs> I saw it and I was like, hmm, that seems like a way I can go. Um, I guess we're going between the statue's legs here. But that's another thing. These statues look like guards. They look like the same outfit that the guards wear. There's got to be some relation there, right? Why is it, a, why is it abandoned? Like, the world building of this game just it intrigues me a lot. Like, what is this place? What? Well, it looks like a temple. But a temple to what? To who? I like to know this sort of information, you see. Oh, wow. It's an astrolabe? Is that the right term? I'm getting flashbacks to another game I've played at some point in my life, but I can't remember which one it was. We are running around setting a star chart. I think it was a first-person shooter, which is outside of my normal sort of scope of games nowadays, and it was it's quite a long time ago. 
Can we open? Can we open this up? Can we set this off? I am incredibly curious. I can't see any control panels or anything. Keep going up. Maybe this is a control room. Also, definitely not a telescope. I can tell you that much. That's some weird alien technology right there. Oh my. Okay, just as you thought it couldn't get any bigger. Now I do see something. Up there. Oh, the camera's quite. It's not really a, bin a binoculars, but I see something up on that ledge. There's also a staircase, so let's just do the smart thing, and instead of trying to climb, let's just go up the staircase and see where it takes us. I wish I could turn the lights on. Not that there are any. At least not yet. I have a funny feeling there might be some. Keep my eye open for loot as well. There's a... Oh no, there's a mask, guys. Should we go check out the mask before we do anything else? It might have a hint outside of it. It looks like another puzzle. Please be a little bit more, uh, well, simpler than the previous puzzle we did where we just had to stand it. Well, I mean, it was simple, but for me to work it out, my poor brain. Sun? Bug? Wind? Uh... I don't know what that is. My cat just broke in again. God damn it. Um, wait, are these like constellations as in... Star signs, maybe? I don't know. They kind of look like um, a crab. Now the cat's leaving again. Okay. You'd think I'd just close the door and stop it so we couldn't open it. But then he'll just stand there scratching at it forever. Well, there's like a slot in the bottom here. Oh, wait, hang on. These symbols match the symbols on the inside of that thing. Okay, exploration. We must carry on. We have to look around. Still have those weird devices. Oh, hello. There's something here. A flash of light shines off something behind my eye, and a piece of knowledge forms in my mind. The sun stone manifests when the machinery is in place. When the sun casts shadows, provide the stone the answer it seeks. Sunstone. Maybe because it's night time, we're not seeing anything? Somebody has put a camp here. I think we need to open the roof, you know. Oh, Azure die. Go check these controls on either side. Please let me go. I can say, please let me grab that, otherwise I'd be falling all the way down. Hmm. There's something on this side, that side, and that side. I fear whatever I need to do, I haven't actually found the on switch. I thought the, that stone, the uh, explanation stone was the on switch, but I don't think it is. There's a chum. I'll take a chum. I'm kind of looking for a control room, not gonna lie. Did ancient alien structures have control rooms? I don't know why that, like, I know why I said ancient aliens. That just reminded me of that Discovery TV series that was like really popular a while back. Hmm. I watched that, you know. Or a large percentage of it. Very bizarre. But oddly interesting. 
sunstone casts so you have to give the answer but like nothing is shining we have no shining what time is it it's five it's still night time i'm still holding out a vain hope that maybe it has to be daytime but then I can't do anything with these. It's not like we have interaction buttons or anything. But I am going to check all three of them. Because I'd hate it if one of them was the solution. I don't see anything in the middle of the device either. There's no like control platform in the middle. Oh, the sun is coming up. I'm just going to stand here and let the sun come up. I'll speed it up for you guys, if it actually does anything. It's definitely daytime now. Sunstone manifests when the machinery is in place. The sun casts shadows, provide the stone the answer it seeks. Sun casts shadows. Maybe it's at a very specific time of day and I just have to wait even longer, but it seems a little bit out there, doesn't it? A time-based puzzle? There is sun in here, but I swear the dome being closed just feels wrong. For God's sake. <laughs> okay, so after me walking around like an absolute moron for at least 10 minutes, I decided that something must be wrong. There must be a bug or something. Apparently, this button only works if you're wearing the Ibexi outfit you started the damn game in. So, <laughs> calling me a little bit miffed. <laughs> I was walking around for a while there. But that has opened the door and it should allow me to do something now. I'm not entirely sure what. I haven't got that far. It's highlighting this symbol over here. So... Can I now use the controls on either side of the room that we found earlier? I know this area remarkably well now, considering I've been walking around it for so long. <laughs> I'm just happy it was a it was a bug and not some horrendous game-breaking problem that I'd have to deal with. Yes, now these work. Sweet. So what does this do? Does that change something? Oh god. Oh, let's go, let's just spin the other one, see what they do. I have a funny feeling this episode's gonna go over by a little bit, I do apologize. I don't really want to end it without finishing this puzzle, right? Selected isn't changing. I just keep spinning it to have it. When in doubt. Okay, so it's quarter turns every time. Uh, oh. Wait. That's gone blue. Does is that gonna change colour whenever I put it in? It's red. Oh, let's leave it blue. Blue seems good. Blue is a nice colour. That one's red. Oh, okay. So I think what we have to do is keep rotating them until we get... Oh god, getting to this one's going to be a pain. Even as a glider. I climb up the bloody wall. I think that there's probably a quicker way of doing this, but at this point, take it. There we go. So this one's red. I am 
wondering what decides what's correct. Oh, bug it. <laughs> oh, okay, we go back one. I thought it was red, and then it went blue. I was cheated. Okay. One left. Can I be cheeky and just go straight across the dial? Seems pretty fair. I wonder if I have to do this four times. For each of the uh, symbols down there. Is it still glowing? Has it just gone blue because the sun's gone in? I have to wait till morning again. If so, we'll be upset. That's how long I was running around, by the way. Give it a few seconds just to settle. That is not correct. Something has happened. I haven't the foggiest what, but something has happened. Let's go have a look at the thing that just lit up. I remember the symbol it was. This one right here. I put this in here? Oh look, even the game's like, it's this one. Oh, oh, excuse me. I charged them all up. Or do I only get one? Oh wait, no, this one's now doing the thing. Honestly, I've got no idea. Let's just turn them all off. It's probably asking for a specific one. Unsure. These are all the different types of masks. Seems a bit strange, doesn't it? How come... I was going to say, how come I couldn't put them in these earlier, but I now apparently can. Something tells me this isn't right. I'm gonna guess that it's gonna show me a symbol and I need to make sure I have the right one lit. Maybe it takes a minute? The other one took a minute. Whoops, I dropped the controller and accidentally called Moon. I just had a thought. If I light them all up, and then I go to the sunstone above me. Maybe you'll tell me. Ah. 
I'm actually convinced this game is evil at this point. Right, there we go. Aside, side. Night's almost over. of light shines off something behind my eyes and a piece of knowledge. Sunstone manifests when the machinery is in place. The sun casts a shadow. Yeah, provide the stone the answer it seeks. I, I genuinely think we have to wait till morning. Okay, well, I'm going to stand here again. Be right back. Oh, it's morning. Here we go, come on. Have I got to wait the whole day? I'm hoping like, when it lights up, I think it's going to roll from left to right. So let's see, as this lights up, will something happen? <laughs> this is going to take a while. I'm going to have to like speed this up. I probably speeded up loads of stuff. Speaking of episode. You never know, hopefully it's useful for somebody. I'm sure a considerably better YouTuber than me has done a video on this already, but... Okay... Apparently... Did... The... West? What? Oh, 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 I only have to do one? Where? Oh! Okay... Well, this is really cool. I don't know what it is, but I like it. In front of me, some kind of projection appears as if by magic, and in its floating geometry, I see the lights that blaze in the night sky. I see where we came from. As I focus on each element of this complex visualization, I realize that there is something being imparted to me, that I am reading and understanding things. Knowledge comes in new, yet feels innate, as though I am being reminded rather than taught. I decided to put my focus toward... Ooh. My inner... My inner um, sunless skies, sunless seas player just wants to, and fall in London I should say, just wants to go the sun, the sun, the sun, the sun, the sun. I can see clearly that the large glowing orb in the centre is our sun, and so blindingly bright that I cannot look directly into it without feeling its heat radiate within my skull. Around it, celestial bodies move in a rhythmic dance. I decide to put my focus towards a small planet nearest the sun. Emis and her two moons flit about the sun like moths dancing over a flame. The goat-headed god, patron of the Ibexi. Her wisdom and resolve made for some of my very favourite stories growing up. She always seemed more accessible than the other gods. My teachers would say that Emis is who we look to when Rohana is too preoccupied for us. I pictured her on her cliff above the Iwa, ever patient, ever open. They also said that through certain masks one could see her shadow on the sun. I decided to put my focus towards, hmm, I wonder what they mean by masks, look at the second planet. The second planet is Midden. Our sandy little home of an unremarkable rock made warm and vibrant by the power and energy of the perpetual. Looking at it in this way, I see another side of the perpetual that cannot help but notice that we look ensnared and imprisoned by it, by it held in its grasp. Cold wind passes, but warms as I remind myself, no, we are not being possessed we are being protected. I offer myself that comfort. Okay. Uh, an unknown geometry. I'm guessing that's the giant triangle. <laughs> and we're on the, the glowy orange ball. Looks like it has a shield around it. 
Maybe? I look upon a shape that I struggle to describe. It is pure and strange geometry. So bizarre and yet so orderly that it cannot be organic. I know immediately that this is the moor. This is the impossible thing that birthed the whale. I know from stories, from history, and from the knowledge that seeps into my brain here that this was made by living things, sentient ones with plans and intentions. But even though I know it, I cannot fathom it. Its scale is incomprehensible. The magnitude of it is such that even in replica, I cannot look at it for long. Something in it, though, something in me loathes it. And I don't know why. So I to put my focus towards the glittering ring. Aeolian? A glittering ring of golden dust. Every little fleck looks as though it's floating on a breeze gently through the sky. What are these may- what? Are these what make up the stars? I decide to put my focus towards the ringed planet. Carab and his wings. When I picture it, the ringed planet is populated entirely by beetles living in a decidedly advanced society. It would be the perfect place for Sima, I think, but I don't love the thought of it myself. It looks larger than the other planets, and would be a lot of beetles. Time to move on. It's time to put my focus to wall. The twin planets. The twin fish, Coral and Cobalt. There seem to be a small moon caught in their currents. The way they move is mesmeric, and it's hard to look away. Oh, I just got a... Uh, an achievement for completing the puzzle in the watch. It is said that these two are the most mischievous of the gods, and I recall the legends of them discussing themselves as children who lure kind nomads into the undercurrent of the dunes. Disguising, not discussing, disguising themselves as children. Among the Ibexi, these stories of the twins are perfect for scaring the too bold and too young out of venturing too far from home. It's a wonder we ever get on with our gliding. Part of me wishes I had not recalled those fishes, though, and it'd be a challenge not to look askance at the next errant child I meet. I decide to put my focus towards, I think we're done here. I tear my eyes from the spectacle. I'm grateful to have seen it. Glad to move on. There is a chest down here. That's what I'm interested in. Oh, a pair of machinist trousers. Wait, does that mean we have the full machinist set now? We have the machinist mask. The machinist top. The machinist trousers. Look, we're a machinist. We're a mechanic now. We've we're, we've picked our profession here. But I want to put my space my space suit back on. If you don't mind. Yeah. I do wonder why while I was wearing the spacesuit the button didn't press. I'm assuming it's just a bug. And I am glad I didn't have to wait the entire day like I thought. I thought it was going to have to like go across all of the symbols. But I'm glad that wasn't the case. Otherwise I would have been here for ages. Oh that noise made me jump. We are in fact done here so let's remove that. I'm going to... Fast travel back here, but I think I will finish the quest in the next episode because I have been recording for approximately an hour longer than I anticipated. So, I shall. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you next time.